Sophie? She's not here yet. Fathers play a big role in their daughter's life. It's a special bond that only they share. Hello! And even when she's all grown up, she's still daddy's little girl. Dad? So excited to be talking with you. We're in the beautiful city of Miami, celebrating Latinos. How are you guys? We're good. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. Thank you. I love that the film shows that we can coexist modernity with traditions. I think it's um, very well presented in the film. And you're as an executive producer. How would you repurpose or how do you reimagine this to be like a rom com? Well, I didn't. I didn't. The idea did not originate with me. It originated with Paul Paris, one of our producers, and Warner Brothers. That was discussed. Paul, I think, brought them the idea of potentially turning this IP into a new version with a Hispanic, in this case, particularly Cuban family, and a Mexican one that marries into it, as in our story. I came into it once the first draft of the script was in, so I was excited about the possibility of and given the opportunity to be a part of it. and and, you know, be responsible for its outcome somehow, you know, be one of the people uh, nurturing it along the way. Absolutely. And I think in the story too, it's about tolerance, but also about family. And also, I think the wedding really puts the family to a test. You know, everyone's kind of crazy, but it all works out in the end. So seeing the whole family dynamic as an audience is super enjoyable, but how is it on set with this ensemble cast, seeing the whole dynamics? Oh, you know, I think the dynamics that you see in the movie, some of them are very similar to our actual dynamics. All the really fun parts are very much us, I think. Um, we had, honestly, such a great time making this movie. Um, we were in Atlanta, COVID bubble, all of us Latin Americans. Um, we knew each other from, I had worked with Isa before, I had worked, I, I had met Diego before, me and Andy met briefly before making the movie. So by the time that we got to set, everyone felt like a big family. Um, and we just had a blast. We really enjoyed, we knew that this movie was gonna be special and we made sure to have a really great time while making it. And it definitely shows on screen um, I felt the good vibes and it was just, it was amazing. So congratulations again. Thank you. And the film deals with the notion of traditional and the unconventional and it's kind of the craft of movie making. Do you think it's now been changed or do you think it's been, the way we make movies has changed over years? It has technically has changed. The technical aspects of filmmaking have changed tremendously especially just from film to digital, it's a huge difference, you know? And also the size of the cameras. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but what doesn't change is the, the story, you know, the execution of how you execute the story. And without a good story and without the execution, then you have, uh, you know, you don't, have, uh, you don't have a film that works. Yeah, and maybe the inclusion, that's changed. I, I feel it more, and I think this is this movie is an example of that. It feels like a great triumph for us Latin Americans in in Hollywood to sort of showcase this movie, made, produced, acted by Latin Americans, um, and it feels really special. And I don't know if that would have happened um, years ago. There has been movies, but they're all that mostly have been independent movies that people scratch and bite and scratch yeah. them to production. No, this is a you, studio movie a studio. And, and you know a lot of people are going to be able to watch this. Um, so it, it feels very, it feels very special. It is very special. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. talking with me. Love the film. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I have something to say. I'm engaged! Wow. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> and I propose. Wow. You propose? You propose? Okay. You propose? Yes. You proposed to him. Mm -hmm. He didn't propose to you. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Does anyone do that? You both have been coming here for over a year. Do you still want this marriage to work or not? I'm here. No. We're supposed to play the perfect family until Sophie gets married. Well, we can say, sorry to spoil your happiness, but we're getting a divorce, muscle tough. Mommy, Papi, this is Aaron Castillo. We don't want some big fancy wedding, and we want to pay for it. 
Two lawyers are out of college, working for a nonprofit, they're gonna pay for the wedding. Billy! Happy. I'm the father of the bride, and I will be paying for the wedding, and I'm gonna be walking my daughter down the aisle. The wedding planner's here in 20 minutes. Wedding planner? Left Amelia! So what are we thinking about theme? Theme? We don't want a Catholic wedding. What are you talking about? Who's gonna officiate then? My guide, Monica, from the Zen Center, New York. So a yoga class instead of a wedding. Hey, caramba. This is my father for the wedding. Oh my God, how rich is this guy? Gonna have some champagne and come aboard! What is he, a Bond villain? We should go over the ground rules. Can we hold hands? We can. Can we dance? If necessary. How about a kiss? Absolutely not. Daddy, what is the budget that we're working with? How about that? Yes. yes. I really like him. He's nothing like us. Maybe that's the point. You don't watch sports? No. You play sports? I like hiking. Things have been coming at me very fast. It's time for me to embrace the future. I got your back. Showtime, baby. Can we dance? Happy. Ready? Yes, and you? No. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.